Okay, laugh all you want. My wife's a little bit crunchy, and so uh, she asked that I put in some rain barrels in the house. And this is our system now. We bought one of the, um, this, uh, this guy right here has got a little output there. Oh, it's super cheap, but it's in there. It's all plastic. And uh, the idea generally was that the gutter here would run into the rain barrel here, and this would keep out the mosquito larvae and, um, you know, things from the ash tree and stuff from the stuff from the gutter it works great except when the rain barrel fills then this whole region here would just flood with water and our roof such as it is fills up this rain barrel very quickly and then water goes everywhere so we had to buy this thing which is called a diverter and inside of it is a mechanism that guarantees that if there's water up to the height of the hose then that fills this pool right in here and the gutter water then pours over down into the proper gutter as it used to be. See that? Oh, there's a happy place for the water to go. And then I can get the water away from the dang house. So that's a completed system right there. Actually, it's got uh, this Fiskars brand has another uh, connector kit that they sell. Fiskars, Fiskars. So I have another rain barrel like this and I'll take it over. I just have to make sure that the output of this guy is the same height as the input to the rain barrel, no problem. And then I'm gonna put another one over on this side so we can double our rainwater collection. We'll see if we're using it. But today I thought I'd show you about the other system that I bought, and I'm just gonna run those two next to each other and see which one works better. So front yard in a moment. And now on the other side of the house, you've got the gutter that I just separated right there. It used to be a nice happy gutter. Actually, we tried running it into a barrel and it overflowed and look at the erosion that resulted. Holy cow, there's a lot of exposed roots right there. It was nuts. Anyway, oh yeah, cracking the basement. All the water's going right in, baby. <laughs> it's just flooding the basement. Okay, so uh, the solution here is to take the gutter down a little bit farther and use a different product to dump the rain into this barrel right here, which is actually a used Greek shipping container. Very likely held either fish or olives. And you don't believe me, right? Because that's a pretty ridiculous thing to say. But there's an embossment right here that very clearly says Greece and then some stuff in Greek that I don't know. Um, what they're doing is they're these used containers that smell gently of olives and weird fish and then they're uh, selling them for 50 or 100 bucks to people in the United States. So the problem with mine was that it had a small hole here and it was threaded plastic which was really lame. So I bought this $15 bulkhead item right here, drilled it out to an inch and a quarter, clamped that on. This is made by Rain Pro, and it's actually a really good solution. This is a very nice full port ball valve. You're gonna get a whole bunch more flow this direction, and you can actually manipulate the dang thing. That's nice, right? But up on the top, there was a problem also. Like right here, there was another inch and a quarter, sorry, no, this is like, that's like a three quarter inch hole that was right there. Again, threaded plastic, it was supposed to be the overflow valve when somebody converted it from olives to rain barrel. But uh, that's not the way we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it with the same diverter system. And a diverter system requires that the rain barrel be a closed system. And there's an input, so that's here. I drilled that and put that sucker in. And that's gonna be nice and clean. It's just plastic, but it seems pretty nice and tight. And there's a hose that goes into here from the gutter. So as you can see, it's not like all the gutter water, but that's not an issue. If it rains a little bit on our house, we're gonna fill up this barrel. But we need information about the barrel being full to get back to the gutter system over there. So this needs to all be holding water and there needs to be no leak in the entire barrel because any of the leaks are gonna just go straight into my basement. So I um, cut open a coffee, uh, plastic coffee bean lid or something and uh, drilled a few self-drilling metal screws through it and that's gonna hold on there the silicone caulk pretty well. This is the top of a coffee thing. Um, <laughs> the people who converted this to a rain barrel were thinking, you know, the traditional overflow rain barrel and that uh, left them with a gaping hole right here. So I put uh, four screws in there and then um, that should be all sealed up. We'll see, I mean, maybe it'll last a couple of years and I'll have to replace that lid. That's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna get working on the gutter and then show you the system once it's in a bit. So it's like Eddie Vedder told me about this Odie Mystic Rainwater Collection System. It's not for you if you have large gutters. The traditional gutter size is um, two inches by three inches and they designed this for that, that size right there. Sorry to be British Imperial on you, but 
that's what the gutter size is. Anyway, we upgraded our gutters a couple years ago because of water in the basement again, and um, we went to the three by four gutters hoping that would solve anything. It didn't, by the way. Your two by three gutters are probably fine, but if you have them, what you have to do with this Odie thing is just take out the top and throw it away. Here, there's actually sufficient input for a three by four gutter to barely fit in, and I'll show you that happening in a minute. And then you see the diverter, it takes most of the water, the water that's running down the sides anyway, I guess that's most, and it goes into here. Uh, where? How can I point to there? It goes in there and then goes out that direction, unless this fills up with water. That would be rain barrel full conditions. If it fills up with water, then the water that's running down the side is going to splash on that, hit it pretty hard, and then sloop down the middle of the gutter. That comes out as a 2 by 3 and of course a 2 by 3 nicely fits inside of a... Uh, oh wait, did I have some system for this? No, I'm just, I think I'm just going to plop that onto there and everything's going to be fine. Or maybe I could even go out draining in a 2 by 3 here because the larger size is satisfied. No, I'll probably work this backwards or something. I think I thought that this could go in here. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look at that. Isn't that fancy? I took the top out and I plopped it in the bottom and I've got an expander right here. And that will probably attach somehow onto the, um, onto the old, uh, what, the other one. <laughs> the 3x4. Okay, so that's my plan. I'll put it all together and let you know. All right, somebody on Amazon did tell me that I could do this. And by gum, they were right. Look how slick that looks. Now we put a hose right here, and that's going to come down to somewhere over here. There's a thing. Yeah, that thing right there. Put a hose clamp on that sucker. Then I just have to work out what happens to the end, and the end is then going to drain down and away from... Hey, yo, Doc, why bother with a hose clamp, right? You got a nice tight connection over there. Don't need one. Yep, because that's an inch and a quarter, Barb. But this guy right here, I couldn't find any inch and a quarters on the whole internet. I looked in every corner. That guy right there said it was an inch and a quarter. That's the Fisker's additional um, rain barrel connector bulkhead barb plug. Yes, it is. And uh, it's only, I don't know, an inch and it's an eighth or something. Look how smoothly that goes in and off. Right. See, dang it, that's not going to hold any pressure. So the plan is clamp that sucker down right there and we'll be okay. That's the deal. Okay, here's the end product. The water is running away from the house a long way away from the house, luckily. And uh, it's got a little bit of slope on it right there. See that? A little bit of slope, yep. And then you got all the drainage issues right here where all the erosion took place. We're going to backfill that later. Uh, we need a 90 actually that goes the other direction. If there were a 90 that went out this way um, to your right, that would be pretty nice. But I don't want to go to the hardware store right now. I'll do it later. And then uh, if you follow this up, you got your attachment to the house. That's nice. And then uh, up here, just as I promised, I put the outflow for the OD system. Uh, sorry, it's the inflow for the OD system, but I put it in as the outflow and I just screwed the plastic to the plastic and I managed to shove that into a 3x4. And that guy right there is on a uh, barb output. That line comes down to here, fills up the rain barrel, let's hope anyway. And I got a hose clamped onto the ill-fitting bulkhead barb there. And then you got your uh, access right there. We gotta keep it closed, otherwise it would drain continuously while it's raining. And here are all the plants that I killed in the process. Sorry, sweetie.